What's up guys, it's Elan from GSM Promit and you're welcome back to this YouTube channel. You are probably here because you have an iPhone that is locked to owner or your iDevice is stuck on the activation lock screen and you forgot the Apple ID and password. By the end of this video, you'll be able to know which tool supports your iPhone, where to purchase, how to purchase and how long you have to wait for a device to be ready for activation. This is a comprehensive guide which will require you to grab a coffee and stick with us to the end of this video. With that being said, let's get the video rolling. The first tool that we are going to be discussing about is Mina Activator which supports iCloud Bypass with SIM working for A2 of Plus devices. What I have here is an iPhone 15 Pro Max that is locked to owner and I've connected it to the Mina Activator software and from the software it says this device isn't supported at the moment. Mina A2 of software supports iPhone 15 Pro Max. It used to support iPhone 15 Pro Max earlier before the Apple patch but after the Apple patch it's no longer compatible with iPhone 15 Pro Max. So for now you can only bypass xr all the way up to 14 plus but 14 pro and pro series or the 14 pro and pro max including the 15 series isn't compatible with mina e12 software let's try an iphone 12 pro max on ios 17.7 that is also locked to owner and let's see what the mina software says about this so once again if you connect your device and it doesn't throw you any error or any unsupported message then you have to click on the activate button and wait for the tool to run a compatibility check after which you'll be prompted as to whether or not if your device is supported and if it says supported then you'll be instructed to register the device you have to pay for that which i'll show you guys in a second all right sure so here we go it says my device is supported for a 2 of signal bypass so therefore i should register and bypass moving on to the final software which is ironwall pro premium version 3 which is an alternative software for Windows. The link to download all these tools will be available in the description box below. So unlike the Mina E12 that it have, you have to install the package, with the Windows version, you just have to unpack the file. It's in zip format, so once you download it, you just unpack the file, unzip the files, and then you just open the folder and launch the tool. So the user interface of the version 3 is quite uh, similar to the older version. All you need to do is to connect your device and I have an iPhone 15 Pro Max that I've already connected to the Mina software, which it wasn't supported. And from the Ironwall Pro software, it's not going to be supported as well. I'm just going to uh, test it. And as you can see, it throws an error message and it's saying I shouldn't be smart. So this device isn't supported. So just like the Mina E12 software, which was incompatible with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, the Ironwall Pro version 3 is also not supported by the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So if you have an iPhone 14 Pro all the way up to 15 series, you cannot bypass with SIM working. But you can also bypass without signal, which I'll provide a link to download the software in the description box below if you want to bypass without signal for 14 Pro up to 15 series. Now my iPhone 12 Pro Max is connected and from the software it says this device is supported. So register your device and wait for uh, it to be ready. To register the device, all you need to do is to copy the serial number from the software, send the serial number and your device details to me on Telegram at GSM Promit. So once you send us a DM on Telegram at GSM Promit, you provide to us your device model or for example, if you are, if you are going to register an iPhone 13, you state that this is an iPhone 13 and this is a serial number I want to register to Ironwall Pro software or Mina software. So once we, we check your message, we provide you the the price and the payment gateways we accept you make payment before you register your device registration process takes 1 to 15 minutes and this is how it looks like after we've registered your device we provide to you a screenshot or receipt of registration so once we are done with the registration we send you the screenshot you open the tool again and then you connect your device uh just like you can see this is an iphone 12 we've already registered and the date we registered is 27th of october that is today's date and then uh, it's in progress. So once the registration process is completed, the activation is going to take the as activation is going to take three to five working days. Yeah, as you can see from the software, it says my device is registered, but I should wait for three to five working days for the activation process. So after the three to five working days, uh, you'll be able to activate your device with SIM working and all Apple services. 
So after the three to five working days, you just open the tool and click activate button and then you wait for the whole process to be completed. So for now, I'll be back with another video after the waiting period is due for these 12 Pro Max that I've registered to Aramba Pro version 3 on 27th of October 2024. The expected wait time should end on 2nd November 2024. However, it might vary depending on the demand and number of devices that have been processed. The wait time can also be faster than expected. Regardless, I'll be here to provide you real-time informations. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Till then, peace out.